Jump into the mother shoe. Wait, we haven't started recording, have we? We're recording, yeah, but we always got to shoot going this shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not, no. not when you were saying anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Anyways, if it is, I'll cut it out. That's oh, it. Really? It's just I'm, so you get comfortable and oh, it yeah. 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 naturally. Wow, yeah. that's so sneaky. Yeah. It's like when you're getting a going under anesthetic. And they like just count to 10. Oh, you just got me. All right. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the mothership. The show where we talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about that day. My name is Dylan. I'm, of course, your friendly space ninja. And today I am joined by... The Commander-in-Chief Bruno. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, Maya of bro e Chanel fame. <laughs> of bro e like, Chanel fame. I hate fame. saying this. <laughs> so regal. Yeah. Of bro e Chanel fame. Okay, uh, can we redo the intro and everybody just says that? I'm Dylan of bro e Chanel fame. <laughs> we'll do that next time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm. And, of course, we are joined by... Man of the Jedi. The Jedi herself, who kind of regrets her name by now. Not always. We both regret our names. <laughs> just a little bit. It's, we're just, I, do really like I don't know if I... I think it's too early for me to regret Friendly Space Ninja, but I think I'm gonna get there. I oh, dude, it's such a cool Friendly name. Space what are you talking Ninja. about? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm still trying to get comfortable, like, talking about my channel in person. Like, I have no ability to, like... Oh, really? <laughs> Why? It or, like... Isn't this weird part of you that, like, you don't fully assume the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of. Like, I... Like, yeah. I'm so weird about it when people talk to me about it in person. Oh, are you it. like me? Did you start your channel and didn't tell anyone about it? No, no one knew about it, yeah. Okay, I, like, did yeah, not same. tell anyone. Because, like, earnestness in my, like, social circle is not a thing. Like, it's, <laughs> everyone is shrouded in irony. So like oh, I get, being yeah, earnest yeah. on the internet. Need that energy. You were no, like, not yeah, yet. Not exactly. Yet. So like, you back yeah. to earth though. If if yeah. ever you start getting too into yourself. Yeah, exactly. So we're just bring you oh, back I to will earth. be humbled. By <laughs> yeah. I'm, they're constantly humbling. It's me, gonna so. be part of the plan. What's yeah. your humble brag, Bruno? You almost found a PS5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had a PS5, and... which is more than most people <laughs> these days. It seems like. Fucking Costco canceled it. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. That's really sucks. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. My condolences. Was that today? Sorry. It, yeah, yeah, actually, like last night when I came back home from doing this. Devastating. Yeah. That it's, sucks, man. I'm so sorry. That was the news I got when I came in. His, no. his girlfriend cried. My girlfriend was crying. Poor girl. Yeah, she. She was like, I worked so hard to get you with the PS5 and it got canceled. I'm exactly. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. She's been super vigilant. She's being a really good sport about it. Like, God bless that girl. I don't know why she loves me so much with that, but like, it's yeah. incredible. No, she's uh, following all the pages and everything. As soon as there's something, she jumps on it. Wow. And yeah, she was That's really so cool. happy when she got it at Costco. Dude, um, she really wants a girls' oh, night. So I'm joking. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why she cried. She just she's wanted like, to make sure she'd get rid of you for a week or something. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's so nice. Oh, though. by the way, nice. uh, this show is brought to you by our friends over at Adam and Eve, keeping Ooh. things sexy as always. More on that later. Boy. Today, we're doing an episode that we've been waiting to do for a very long time. Mm. Dating advice. Oh. There's some really oh. fucked up stuff. So I'm the only one who has seen the story so far. I asked yeah. people on Instagram to just send me questions they would have about their dating lives and things that they want to know. Some of them are really short, but I think the conversation is going to be interesting. Some of, <laughs> some of them are really long, and this is going to turn into a therapy session. I'm, I'm really cool. excited. so excited. Yeah, I'm okay. I've been preparing for this my whole life. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> good, at, I'm so good <laughs> at giving other people first. advice. Yeah. I myself will find therapists, but yeah. <laughs> so ready to help you. <laughs> I will yeah, help it's you. Your, it's always like that. Where it's your own life, you can't have the same level of advice you would give to somebody. No, because you don't want to take your own advice. You're yeah. like, I'm just going to put that I spend years box. telling people to go to therapy, just got a therapist. <laughs> yeah. oh, really? That's where I'm at. That's guy, where I'm yeah, at. Really? Yeah. Like, I oh, went yeah. to school for psychology and I'm still kind of like, I don't need one. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fake. No, I'm kidding. I could be my own therapist, she thinks, <laughs> ironically. <Yeah. laughs> it's just like, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, we're always the exception. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I have just work push it down, do. push it down, yeah, push I'm it busy. down. Yeah. I'm busy. That, that's that's legit an excuse it that is. I use a lot for myself where I'm like, oh, I'm too busy to take care of that right now. Yeah. Or I'm just like, I'll do that when I finish this project, but by the time I finish this project, There's I just start two more and yeah. it just never ends. And it's like, yeah, you have a lot of projects. You're, you're also, like, also <laughs> yeah, but even yourself. with videos, uh, sometimes I use videos as a way to just not deal with my shit. Right. I'm oh, just, sure. I'm just like, you know, I should really deal with that problem, but also I really need to finish that paragraph of my script. So I'm just going to do that instead. And I just don't deal with my stuff. And 
Yeah, using work as a way to escape your issues, already being a workaholic, as is we've that, talked about before, yeah. is just not... Yeah, when's your recreation time, typically? I don't get that. I don't really... Yeah, yeah what is I that? don't really... I, I, I try to do that thing now where on the day that I post a video, I'll take a day off that day. Okay. And try yeah. to chill, but uh, I, I did I did it twice, and then I just go right back to yeah, work. Yeah, it it's too stressful because you're like, oh god, what comes next? Unless the video is doing really well, yeah, and I can exactly. be like, yeah, okay, I'll yeah. chill a little bit. But yeah. if it's like this one's not going to do well, so I need to immediately jump into the next, to one, the next one that I think will. I do think well. also the problem of just not having like creating your own schedule too is just like a huge issue yeah. for me. Like I have no, oh, yeah. yeah, I have no ability to like having a like, structure. And yeah, how I have you no work. weekends. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I just yeah. wake up and I start working, and then I work until I take little breaks and then it, I go to bed and I'm just like, that's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? totally. I've been I, trying to like leave the house, same. work somewhere else and then go back home and then like have an evening. Yeah. I can't do that. And like trying that. to have weekends. As soon as I'm not working, I feel guilty. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah there's a lot of guilt involved. We talked about so that's this why before. I have like, to like yeah. leave to go do things. So I'll be like meet up with friends for drinks and sometimes we even went for drinks while working. So I was at least out of the house. No. Oh, wow, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. We thought it was no. a good idea. It worked. It was nice. Uh, it for you. I don't know. Every time I'm with friends, I have this thing in the back of my head that's like, you could be working. So I right was now. working. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. So you don't have the guild voice in oh, your. Oh uh, no. Yeah, I know. My my yeah, I I'm very unhealthy with my work. I tr I'm trying to be better. <laughs> I but, mean, you have um, amazing output. You're putting. You're making great content. So. Thank you. So I'm yeah. like I'm making one video a month. <laughs> but your videos great. are always so yeah, they're like, so good though. Out, but, okay. Can I just say I am a massive fan of your Love Island video because of oh, you. I'm gonna watch next season. Thank you. <laughs> Which like then when I start hating it, I'm gonna blame you. But still. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, so please exciting. watch next. But still, it's yeah. like shamefully good <laughs> yeah i know yeah you're just kind of like oh shit this is good i hate that is the same feeling that i had after her i like twilight now because yeah. of her oh hey. twilight because i saw her videos and i was the like renaissance. iconic the twilight iconic. renaissance is upon us i know i love it actually we're in it yeah we're so in it i'm so happy yeah. to be in it yeah. straight in. oh been by the way after we shoot this we're gonna go to watch twilight in my house not yeah. a joke amazing oh, we planned that nice. get some like snacks. beginning of the week i'm gonna order some chicken nuggets it's gonna be great <laughs> yeah, chicken. Again. I have my snacks. We'll eat snacks. We'll eat snacks. Maybe I'll I just like Ferrero Rocher and snack. Cool. Covered. I will definitely eat the snacks. The snack and I'm steal the chicken wings. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets. Yeah. Well, okay. maybe we'll see how I feel. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I ordered like pizza for food and it wasn't good, so now I'm just kind of like. Mm -hmm. I never finished the pizza we ordered the other day. That was a lot of pizza. Yeah, that was a lot. That was way too much for yeah. the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> I had yeah. the Popeyes chicken nuggets today. Um, oh wow! Not that good. That's mm. my that's my review. Really? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Damn. They're kind of like. Well, they, they, yeah, they have a weird spice on them. I don't know. Oh. Weird texture. Uh, hmm. Bummer. That sucks. So <laughs> review no one asked for. <laughs> yeah. no, it's good. no, I do find that anytime I've had Popeyes, so it's been So what's your take on Wendy's? <laughs> yeah. I hate Wendy's, actually. I hate Wendy's, too. Yeah, fuck Wendy's. All right. Hot takes. Uh, Hell yeah. Swear a lot. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. Jury's yeah. still out on Bruno. Yeah. We'll get back to you. Wendy's well, makes me sick. Oh, okay, no. who's ready for some dating yeah, advice? So ready. I'm so ready. I'm down to give bad advice. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, that's probably. Oh, always oh, do not listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick Don't disclaimer. use this as therapy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get a therapist. We're not therapists. We're YouTubers. <laughs> yeah. Some is, of us. Some. Well, you are a YouTuber, kind of. I'm trying to be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. get there, buddy. You had a channel before all of us. That's, You're an OG. No, I don't. Wait, think when so. did you start? When did you start? No. Uh, 2018 technically, but like I only made two videos back then. Um, okay. Well, my yeah, channel started start in 2010, and then I stopped for five years. 2010. Okay. okay. So, yeah, wow. Yeah, you were way before. Yeah, yeah, I did like three videos, and then I moved away for school and stopped. 2010, huh? They were like video game collection videos, and I realized I was gonna start buying a bunch of stuff to like make videos. I'm like, this isn't healthy. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's kind of like reverse. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was not it. intuitive. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. good. So I was just like, never mind. Yeah, nothing mm. was happening in my life in 2010. I that's not true. You, I mean, you, were you went school. through stuff. I yeah, mattered. Yeah, you, you mattered. mattered. You got Jesus. this. All right, Look dating you advice. Dating advice. 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 <laughs> Let's yeah. help people with their problems. Okay, I'm going to start smooth. All right. I am 22-year-old, female, never been in a relationship. I don't know how to talk to guys. I am big introvert and socially awkward. Where to find guys and how to initiate a conversation. I cannot help you with meeting men. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I think Rowie. it's just the easiest thing <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Where to find Easy guys thing? organically? Yeah. Well, okay, where organically to find is one a, thing. Yeah, is a good question. Because... The gym, because that's where they always seem to want to pick other people up. So like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Flip it. Men, men are in, the the pheromones have increased at the gym. Apparently, <laughs> oh, apparently. Probably. I wouldn't um, be surprised. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> where to find men? Where to find men? Oh, cafes. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I guess mean, it's the French what kind yeah, of man do, do you want? I've been hit on at cafes, but it's like, the, okay, the type of person that hits on you at a cafe is like probably a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. she's working. Someone, he, someone, yeah. who, someone who goes to hit on someone in a cafe is like looking for a manic pixie dream girl. Oh, yeah. oh wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, not helpful. Um, hinge. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that's so hinge, helpful. Yeah. I just, yeah, I honestly think that if you're that worked up about it, you just need to get on dating platforms yeah. and like yeah. swipe because the guys will swipe on you, and then you just pick the one you actually like. It's Do some tough, conversations. Though. It's tough because I feel like people who, it's hard for people to have. Like to do, some people to develop chemistry like over yeah, exactly. yeah. over yeah. the it's, app. It's hard yeah. to have a conversation over text that's like that feels meaningful. At yeah, first, that's I guess. true. Yeah, it's like awesome. I think it works differently. Yeah, for it's everyone. weird. It's really strange. Everything gets taken out of context, or you just don't understand what the other person's trying to say. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like especially think if they're not fun. big on punctuation. <laughs> Jesus, <Lord. laughs> I think it's so fun, but also that's just. Yeah, it just works differently for everyone. But like, how much it of it? Because when you say fun, it's just like the idea of having a random conversation, like actually looking for a date kind. I of. I think it's fun, like flirting over text to me. But yeah, mm -hmm. it has its moments. Yeah. Totally. As long as you're not looking at it for any like anything super serious at first, I think like yeah. you kind of have to yeah. go in with a pretty like yeah, you need a sense of mindset. levity to yeah. it. You know, like, yeah, not a sense of levity. Too I think, serious. Called. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of real life places. There are like some people on dating apps that like their descriptions just sound so serious. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I, I saw I saw the other day on Bumble there was this girl who was just like, I want my partner to be this, 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 that, that, and this is like, okay, you're not here to get to know someone. No, like, you're this not. is how yeah. you gotta be. Yeah. Just finding a soulmate. Yeah. 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 A life yeah. partner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 but yeah, exactly. it has to be exactly the way I want it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be that your own person. Is the vibe. I think that's yeah. kind of the vibe with hinge too, because you can put in your preferred like height and like Yeah, isn't Jesus. hinge like oddly specific yeah. with what it asks it's you really to go specific. through? It's really specific. That's scary. Yeah. I don't know. That like, doesn't it even me. ask yeah, you like what me. your? Yeah. It's weird. Like Six what your love language is? One of them asks your love language. Well, I don't know it's, if it's, it's hinge, hinge or and Bumble. Let me yeah. tell you, it's some of the. It's <laughs> fucking embarrassing. It's like exhausting <laughs> to look at. Am I allowed uh, to swear on this? Yeah. yeah, yeah oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Big time. Go ahead. I'm Just trying to think of real life. Fuck. ASMR. That one. Yeah, it was smooth as hell. Fuck. Um, can you guys think of any real life places? Real life places. I mean, yeah. Where do guys chill? Really. It's really hard. Come walk at my guys. door. Like, <laughs> but don't, because he's taking yeah. yeah, no, I, I think, like, I think it's hard, but socializing at parties, maybe? Like, when you have a gathering with friends and you meet, like, friends of friends. Yeah, yeah. Where it's more friends like, of friends yeah. is always yeah. fun. Yeah, that's always kind of, that's very... It's slightly easier, I guess, because yeah. you're in an environment where you know people. And but stuff. it's kind of a heightened context, because it's, like, at night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the pheromones you know. are down and stuff. The pheromones the are down and up. And down and up. Down and down. 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 Depending on the amount you've drank. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but uh, being introvert and socially awkward, I guess parties oh. don't help you. Yeah. Oh, that's difficult. I just feel like I'm an extrovert. So it's it's always hard for me to give advice to people who are introverts. Really? Because... I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm in the middle. Mm. I, ca I can mm. socialize with people at parties and stuff, and I can do that for like a couple of days, and then I'll be like, okay, I need like a week where I'm just by myself and yeah. I'll talk to anybody yeah. to yeah. just right. recharge my like social battery, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. That's just kind of how I am, but... You're more extroverted than I am. I you think, think? You, you would have an easier time. I, I don't think. know. See, I, I actually had this conversation with my girlfriend the other day. I'm like, am I an extroverted introvert or am sort I an of. introverted extrovert? You're easy to talk to, even when am you I? don't know somebody I mean, in context. Yeah. I, uh, That's why I brought you on this I just podcast. met you recently and I, I'll say both. <laughs> both? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're both fair, easy fair and enough. not easy to talk to. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> yeah. And all of it. And yeah. all of it. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll take it. I'm so well, okay. sorry. That was so unhelpful. No, it's hard. Well, okay. I, I really do think if you are introverted and awkward, I do think dating, dating apps, apps yeah. are dating probably apps the best way. Is helpful. Yeah. Um, I think it's hard to get used to, but yeah. if, if once you get into your groove, I guess. Exactly. And just try to go in with like a pretty yeah. casual. Yeah. I've met some like I've met some people that I talk to like quite a bit just online, and it's like been great and then you meet them in person and it's totally normal so i don't yeah. think it's yeah. always down to be failure established a rapport kind of yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so yeah dating apps that's our thing yeah go on it i don't know i think right talking up, to guys is like super simple just like just i don't know, I don't know. some guys are like yeah but you gotta be though. you gotta be careful though yeah I guess, you gotta yeah, be I'm careful yeah. Always like, be really good. yeah know. if we speak from our perspective it's yeah. just if you're famously good. nice yeah you then you're easy to talk to. But famously you're, nice. If I'm famously <laughs> nice. Oh, damn. That's your brand. <laughs> famously nice. Bruno, famously the, nice. the nice commander. <laughs> the nice commander. <laughs> I'm just going through an evolution of phases. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. By the end of the season, you'll have an entirely different name. <laughs> <laughs> entirely different persona. It'll be like Paul Atreides. From yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just be I just need a, a new YouTube channel, new, new everything. Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. you need to rename your, your channel 
the commander or bruno the, commander. the commander yeah i know I, it's the bruno show just won't work anymore the bruno the show bruno won't work show, that's so cute he has a podcast yeah, right? and it's called short and bald yeah he's I'm short. short and that's like my favorite <laughs> his friend is name bald ever. oh your friend's my bald. friend is okay. tall yeah. and bald yeah. something mm-hmm. adding up okay yeah exactly short <laughs> and bald. that's so cute funny. that's cute it is that very cute. cute all right Thanks. next person so i'm currently seeing this guy who always seems to change his entire personality around his friends mm. which made me extremely concerned but whenever i try to talk to him about it and i've tried more than once he either shuts it out or tries to pin the problem on me. Oh. Or as I like to call I it, mean, that's, the, problem. that's yeah. the real problem. Um, good. Causing the last mm. time we saw each other to turn into a huge argument. I don't hate him or want to break up by any means. So I just want to know, where do I go from here? Uh, It sounds like he can't communicate very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll see it. It's a recurring problem in those <laughs> messages. In the, in the yeah, communication. Because you know? yeah. yeah. the, the personality change, like everyone changes their personality. I feel to, like. Yeah, you, yeah, you have different vibes with different people. Everybody adjusts to their environment, like the people yeah. they're yeah. around. The yeah. vibes. That's, I think that's it, it also depends yeah. on like if he's changing it and like ignoring this person. Yeah, like he's like, being rude. Is he rude to them? Like how different are you is the question, I guess. Yeah, how different. But then the fact that he can't take the... Like that, talk to yeah. them about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it. The yeah. second part bothers me more, than, more the than the first part. part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I, th- I can't tell you when something bothers me because you're just gonna turn it against me. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Uh, I would say if you can't communicate, walk out. Walk out. <laughs> I don't know. Out. Ten year relationship done. Yeah, exactly. maybe it's like an immaturity thing. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah, maybe probably. focus less on the behavior and more on like what it is about it that you don't like. So rather than saying you change yourself when you're around your friends, just say I don't appreciate when you do this, or like yeah. in a nicer way, just be yeah. like I noticed that when you were around your friends, you um, you were making fun of me more. If that's the case, it might not right. be anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but just maybe focus on like the specific thing rather than just like a general i think you change your personality because that kind of sounds like an attack yeah yeah, yeah. well uh, it if, sounds like straight up gaslighting like, yeah just like, if the adv- yeah. advice could be from their like point of view i think that's, that's yeah really good yeah, advice. yeah, yeah. And that might help for them open to open up the conversation i think it's more. so important to just yeah. try to establish like a healthy level of communication right that's so important totally. to do it like i try to do that right from the get-go just to know like hey doors always open mm. nothing's yeah. off the table you can always tell me anything yeah. i think that's just so important yeah but some people just can't do that and they get like it's it's always a bit of a red flag when someone is just too defensive about yeah. everything just yeah. can't take any sort of criticism so yeah just try to establish that like it's okay but that you just want to have a conversation about it and if that doesn't work and it always turns into a fight then uh you should yeah. stop yeah. Assess, that. assess that yeah he's on that emily and parish shit Damn. <laughs> kidding kidding <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Next Emily one. in Paris taking hits left, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I'm here, yes, it is. <laughs> it doesn't stop. I'm watching season two, by the way. Oh, <laughs> when it comes, I'm, I'm doing a video I'm, on season I'm two. I'm probably right? gonna watch yeah. it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. Are you enjoying Emily in Paris on my watch? What's that? Uh, no, about? I like actually thoroughly was angry at the first season, but yeah. I've had distance, and I was like, oh, it's actually kind of like it's just like such stupid fluff it's fine yeah. like, but i hated it like it was yeah. bad and i don't think it should have been made the reason why i'm gonna watch season two <laughs> yeah. is the same reason why i told you that i was pumped about fantastic beast 3 is that the backlash was just so intense that it's either they're going to actually it. improve mm-hmm. or they're just going to double down on what season one was and it's going to be awful. Oh, I kind of mm-hmm. hope they double down because I just love hating yeah. things. Like, and I, I, love I hope they <laughs> realize that. I hope they realize that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm still saying. The hate watch is yeah, powerful. Like, still yeah. saying kill Emily off and turn season two into a murder mystery. That's, yeah, <laughs> my whole thing is that they should, because at the end of season three of you, Joe ends up in Paris. So yeah. I think there should be a crossover. Yeah. Didn't someone say they saw Penn Badgley like in the trailer for season two? Or am I crazy? I thought like all the comments were like, oh, is that Joe oh, That's Wilbert? probably a meme. I don't I think hope so. Because that's, oh, like, you called that like called out a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, I've wow. been t- no, I've been talking about that. So I saw that. Sh- I, sh- I saw the show early. And the second it got to the end of season three, I was like, I want to tweet so badly, but I can't because the show's not out yet. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. And then like, yeah, I was just like primo memes. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch A Million Paris season two over another episode of Riverdale. Fair. Mm, fair. Yeah, that yeah. is fair. Totally it is valid. Well, content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've had long enough to like hate that thing completely. <laughs> yeah. I think like it's still if it gets to season seven, I think it's gonna dethrone pretty little liars as like the most successful tra- trashy show. It's gonna have to, yeah. 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 I feel like it's already kind of dethroned it, to be honest. But no, I feel like it's a fan base. Seven seasons. Yeah. That's a I lot. still think River- that's what I mean. It's so impressive how bad Riverdale is that it's usurped it without yeah. having seven seasons. I feel like its yeah. fandom is just so much bigger. 
than Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, Pretty Little Liars dropped But because off. the fandom of Pretty Little Liars kind of died down, right? It just died off. Yeah. Just because yeah. the I was ending a huge was so fan shit. when it started. Yeah. 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 We also kind of aged as the show went on because it took so long to finish. It took like, so long. I feel like the primary yeah. fans just got too old for it. I yeah, think. for yeah. sure. Same with Vampire Diaries. Yeah, just, oh, totally. It's just show. like they're not 15 anymore. This is not going to work. I just watched the Nina Dobrev Christmas. Uh, movie. Oh, is it good? The trailer looked off. It's just kind of weird because it's like <laughs> the premise is like a love story. Okay, not a love story, but like a funny rom com between like a girl and her catfish. <laughs> What? Oh my god! It, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's the same category of the Vanessa Hudgens ones, like where she there's no, like three no, of her. It was herself. better than the Vanessa Hudgens ones because I've seen all of those and those are absolutely terrible. Yeah, but like in the best way possible. Yeah. But then yeah. like, <laughs> like get this was like it was a bit yeah. better written and like film like film okay, and so, like yeah. it was higher budget, but like the premise itself was just kind of weird. Yeah, I Nina, think you Nina should Nina watch the movies like, are are not the best. They're not the best. So that it happens so much with Netflix. With those types of plots, and yeah, stuff. they'll yeah, just Netflix get someone that was famous try. on one show and just give them like do those three movies and then they're never good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too bad. Yeah. So a lot of you guys seem to be having some trouble with relationships, but Adam and Eve is here to tell you that you don't need a partner to have fun. Because you know what? With fifty percent off your first item and free shipping in the U.S. and Canada, Adam and Eve is the number one source for adult toys in the world the that's world. crazy that's the, the globe. world that's crazy but all you and all you have to use is code mother, mother to unlock all that pleasure mother and oh, you know what yeah. if you're feeling a little bit bad about feeling bad on yourself every purchase that you make at adam and eve 20 percent goes to help fight the spread of hiv around the world even thanos couldn't do that even thanos couldn't do that Not even. i mean so remember everybody AdamandEve.com, use code MOTHER for 50% off of one item, and of course, free shipping in the US or Canada. Thank you, Adam and Eve. Thank you. All right, next one. This one is a bit more detailed. Okay. It's going to be a bit of a read, but okay. Hi, Friendly Space Ninja and the Friendly Space Crew. I like that. Mm -hmm. Aww, I'll take that. That's actually really cute. Yeah, That's I like that. Cool. I like yeah. that. <laughs> because I didn't it's tell really who was going to be on this thing. Yeah. So. I like that. They don't even know it's for a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Space space crew. Anything. Uh, I need some dating advice. So quick info about me. I am a 25-year-old cisgendered woman, and I officially came out as bisexual just over a year ago. It good took for me you. Yeah, good for her. Yeah. Um, it took me a long time to figure out my sexuality, but I have been very excited to finally start dating women. But this is where I start running into a bit of an issue. And that's funny because I had a conversation with Amanda mm -hmm. on that not too long ago. The YouTuber ContraPoints recently talked about her struggles with feeling like a creep for being attracted to women and how society as a whole is slowly moving into this general sentiment that the very idea of being attracted to a woman is creepy and almost predatory. Now, I'm very aware that her situation is different than mine, but I definitely feel the same feeling of shame she expressed. When I like a man, I just like a man and I have no problem getting into that go get him mindset. But when I like a woman, I don't feel at ease. I feel like a creep and I can't bring myself to pursue my feelings for said woman because I'm too afraid to creep her out. I asked a few people around me, straight men, queer men, trans people attracted to women, etc., just to see if I'm the only one with that problem. To my surprise, almost all of them feel a similar sense of fear about the idea of pursuing a woman. I know this isn't a question with one clear answer, but do you think there is a way to get over that I'm a creep feeling or do we just have to accept that this is just how things are now for people who are attracted to women? It's been a real mental block in my dating life. I'd love to know your thoughts. Look, women who like women are useless and will be very thankful if someone else takes the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, This one's can, heavy. It's, yeah. it's much heavier than the others. This is a very like philosophical... Yeah, because I can I, definitely it, see it's that. It's a societal thing. Uh, I, any person can come across as predatory unintentionally i think it's just really a matter of like if you can tell a person's not vibing with it you just back off it doesn't become creepy until it becomes insistent or in how you're approaching them is this just kind of around the language of like consent like in terms of like i don't i don't think so the way just literally the desire i know with contra yeah. points it was just the it, it's obviously that extra I I that. Uh, it was, wasn't in the video it was an instagram post yeah she mm. made an instagram i think with her it's this extra added nuance of being a trans woman and feeling like a predator from that standpoint yeah. okay yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i feel like she's kind of brought that up yeah, yeah and in like i don't ways. agree with that obviously but that's just her concern so it, yeah, i think I, it really is just the simple fact of like this person is concerned that her feelings towards other women is predatory or like if she was mm -hmm. to pursue another woman it would feel predatory yeah 
But, but I think there are. It's. I think it's a problem that more and more people talk about because I feel what she described and what <clears throat> contrapoints described. More and more people talk about that. Yeah. I've seen that on TikTok. Yeah. I think it's usually pretty much like somebody's just going to say, "Hey, I'm not into it," and then you say, "Okay," and then yeah. you Peace bounce. Out. It's not. It's not that bad. I get. I understand it could be scary from a standpoint if you accidentally hit on somebody who isn't mm-hmm. into women. Yeah. And then you right. end up yeah, in a situation because sure. that can make people can be really weird about that, even if you don't mean anything of offense by it. But you yeah. just, you know, yeah. you move on, you get over it. Like it's. I also just yeah. think this has a lot of like to do with like just unlearning gender mm. dynamics. Yeah. In, in Probably, relationships. Yeah. Like, you're just so used to being takes on what role yeah. we act you're to totally the person. Oh, it's a like, yeah. yeah, just trying to unlearn those, and everyone kind of assumes all the rules. Yeah. You know, in a way. Yeah. But with women, it's almost like nobody assumes any of the rules. So yeah, it's, it's like, like, yeah. Yeah. You will talk to somebody for ages and just be like, my pal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think in terms of advice, it would be just, I, I mean, it's difficult. I, I don't know what it is for queer women. No, there's um, a cut and dry answer, really. Yeah. I just think it's you have to learn to get comfortable. And I think like one of the best ways is like go places where you are more likely to run into queer women. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, again, I know dating apps suck, but it at least lets you know like, okay, this is what we're working with and the vibe of the city and like where you might want to go. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, yeah. totally. you can't even necessarily say go to a gay club because a lot of women go to gay clubs to get away from men. <laughs> right, that's so yeah, deep. that's true. So that's true. it's yeah. like you kind of get a, it's, yeah, it's tough. It is hard, but. Yeah, yeah is it tough. is a difficult position yeah. to be in. Yeah. 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 yeah, like she says, there's no one clear answer. Yeah, there's yeah. no one clear it's, answer. It's just like, yeah. There's a change in the dynamic, I think, with courtship. And I think due mm-hmm. to uh, a lot of women knowing what it's like to be pursued in an extremely creepy way. Yeah. Maybe yeah. there's been a bit of a block and now there's like a wall that is like mm-hmm. in between. And it's yeah. just going to change the way courtship functions. Yeah. And it's going to it's going to come with a challenge. But that doesn't mean that you can pursue your feeling your feelings for a woman. Just yeah, definitely it's not inherently it, problematic to be into women. And yeah, women obviously yeah, want exactly. and yeah, women exactly. want to be pursued. It's right. just you have to like read the room and if they're not into it, you just back off and it's fine. It's and I think Contrapoints is talking about her like deep seated like trend like, like yeah. internalized oh, yeah, trend, internalized yeah. feelings yeah. about it. But like yeah. not necessarily mean that you should just like back completely back yeah, off. Yeah, exactly because yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah Contrapoints was specifically saying like I realize that this is like unreasonable in a lot of ways, but it's still a thought that is always gonna bother me. And then on the other side I have all of these people being like, "Mommy, mommy, mommy!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone she, really calls her "Mommy Milkers" like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> her. She really talks Poor about how she doesn't. She's know like how literally to thirty. Yeah, she is, yeah. and she's like, but I just that sucks because she's really like people who look at me who are not attracted to me don't look at me in a romantic way, and that's kind of sad. Yeah, she's literally right. so hot. Rude. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's also not old. And she's so nice and smart, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. she's just she has like ultimate charisma she just yeah. owns the screen and you're mm-hmm. just like impossible not to be like yeah having a galaxy brain really draws it yeah away. you're yeah. just like wow yeah. <laughs> the package also her videos feel otherworldly because she just puts so much effort in her visuals i yeah, know it's so good shout out to contrapoints this video is brought to you by contrapoints yeah <laughs> if you want 20 percent off of contrapoints <laughs> all right next one okay so I have a problem, which is that I get immediately uninterested after a guy gets too romantic with me. If a guy bullies me all the time, I'm like, ooh, cool, let's keep talking. But the moment he goes, I really like you, it's a turnoff, and I don't like him anymore. I have no idea if this makes sense, but I've had guys tell me a week into talking to me that they're falling for me, and I just cringe so much at it and the idea of love. How do I fix that? Please, I'm begging. Well, that this seems is, urgent. That this seems is what I was yeah. talking about with yeah. the earnesty thing. Sorry. I no, you're good. Off. No, you please go. Just like we hate earnesty in this generation. Like we mm-hmm. genuinely hate any sort of like... Way too, too much sincerity. Like, yeah, any sincerity. Yeah, you always have yeah. to tiptoe That seemed around. forward though. She, correction, like... Within a week, he said. Yeah, a week. That's, that's a week much. That's so much. Chill. Her feelings of, un- of discomfort are correct. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. liking to be bullied part that the negging. Yeah. We love negging. Yeah. yeah. This generation. But the, I really like you think because I've, I've had a I have a friend. I'm not going to say her name, but uh, I heard some f- cry over that because she's the same way, and she was like, I don't understand why I'm like that. Like I, she was genuinely like, you know, I dream of having like your movie like romance yeah. and like meeting like the men of my dreams and having yeah. a good thing and everything and getting married and all that stuff and but the second that a guy truly is like like i truly like you she it's immediately you turn off for her and she's like i don't know why i'm like that and it's truly like deep-seated like it bothers her a lot it's hard to answer this question without like psychoanalyzing yeah. this person yeah. 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 Which all I, I don't think... want to do tell me about your childhood yeah, all i can think <laughs> is that it might actually just be like a genuine fear of like getting hurt 
Yeah. So that if everything's yeah. kind of lighter and fun, yeah. fun, and they're already insulting you and you're okay with it, it's like vibes. Yeah, getting scared but the, the second yeah. it gets but serious. But then the second it gets yeah. serious, that's when you're just kind of like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 To be fair, though, this particular situation seems unhealthy. You should not stay with the person who said they loved you within a week. That's Ted Mosby. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah that's yeah, Ted yeah. Mosby yeah, yeah. energy. Ted Mosby yeah. <laughs> it's, also, <laughs> Mosby. it's just crap. My boy yeah. to do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. chill. But yeah. also, you know, it could be fine. It could just be sometimes people say they love you, but it's like they get caught up in an infatuation thing and like they don't yeah. Yeah. say it. They say it. They just, it slips out and then they're like, oh fuck yeah i think it's just natural if you really just think that this is your what you're feeling yeah Yeah. but i don't know why we love being bullied a little like i kind of love being bullied a little bit too because the playful aspect of it can be just play yeah but if it was a dude i would absolutely hate it (laughs) but i'm not into dudes but if like if a dude (laughs) i feel like if it was a dude you'd be like (laughs) yeah no like dudes do that try to do that in my instagram messages and i'm like Fuck you. Who are know, you? you and then girls are like, ooh, do you random to a girl in red? <laughs> My subscribers love being a little mean to me. And I'm like, stop Chill. i don't know you Chill. like oh, yeah. i don't yeah. know you yeah Only, oh i get roasted enough by my friends as it is yeah i don't need this from <laughs> you two strangers on the, the internet yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm not getting roasted online too Seriously. yeah well then you can't escape it but yeah, yeah. whatever I, I, I think maybe it's you need to kind of look and just try to figure out exactly where some of those feelings are stemming from yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um and yeah. if it is just kind of like a fear of commitment um or if it is like a you pro- potentially need to go to therapy because you have like a self-worth issue we don't yeah. know yeah, i don't mean yeah, it in yeah. a mean way but like <laughs> if it's when it starts with i like being bullied and then when they're nice i get turned off like yeah, yeah, <laughs> there might be yeah. something going yeah, on because there. she she literally says like if someone bullies me all the time, I'm like, ooh, but like, I think sometimes it's fun to be like playful and just kind yeah, of like yeah. shoot their shit with each other. But, but you don't want it constant, to be like, can, yeah, if it's constant. I think like, you need a healthy balance of like negging and then like affection. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I yeah, like yeah, being yeah. treated yeah. like shit just a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah like, we're not affection into it. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, <laughs> and, and then every once in a while you do the check in to be like, you know, like, I don't actually hate like we're good right and i'm like oh yeah we're good yeah <laughs> it's like that scene in civil war we're still friends we're right? still friends right <laughs> like, yeah. yeah totally yeah. of course yeah yeah no seriously yeah same exactly what you said just yeah. try to see if it's a problem that you have due to like a fear of, com- of commitment or yeah therapy that's going to be our only advice to everything oh, honestly no, get a yeah. therapist we don't know <laughs> <laughs> what you think we're therapists yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we told you at the beginning <laughs> we just want the interesting stories <laughs> no these are all such interesting questions oh they yeah are. Oh, this is this is this is easy mode oh. it gets really it gets really intense all right so new story I've been dating this guy for three years now, and he's still not sure about me. I I could stop there, honestly, but I'm going to keep going. Uh, Every new commitment leads to resistance from him, followed by a crisis. The last one being about living together. However, he loves me, and he doesn't want to break up with me even when I push him to do so. I love him so much, and I have no problem with him except this one, so I refuse to break up with him. If it happens, it should be his decision, not mine. Is this relationship no. doomed? Uh, doomed, I don't know. You're definitely not in a good place right now. I'll okay. tell you that. It, you should not talk be about moving it. in yeah. together if this is the dynamic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I have yeah. lived with a partner. You have lived with a partner. Yeah. yeah. Live with a partner. Live with a partner. Yeah. Currently living with a partner. Probably yeah. not. Living Great with a idea for you. Maybe <laughs> not a good idea. Not, it yeah. did not work out. Um, <laughs> yeah, that didn't. Um, I mean, there's so many things that can make living with a partner difficult. I think, yeah, yeah there's so many things that can cause tension. But but if you're already having tension before you move, like, but to me, don't it's the three it. years part. You're still in doubting mode after three yeah, years. Yeah, if he's three doubting. Years. Well, look, yeah. I mean, People break up after three years. People do break up after yeah, three years. Yeah, things for sure. happen. Things shit, happen. Shit yeah. goes. You know, things happen awry. It's not everything's planned as you go. It's a, it's a, you it's an adventure that yeah. you go. You know, but there's so much compromise in a relationship. Oh, I, totally. I, I feel yeah. like because, but, but that's just it. If you lose sight of that for even a second, it that happens. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I agree. Uh, is this relationship doomed? That's hard to say because obviously this is still fairly vague. But yeah. the fact that after three years, that every new commitment. I feel like that's not a you problem. That's a him problem. Mm-hmm. And I yeah, think totally. that yeah. does like as much as you love him, it's going to get to a point where eventually you can't let the decision of ending this to him. Mm-hmm. No, that's yeah, unfair you to yourself. Like it's, yeah. it's at the end of the day, it's up to him. Why? No, Why yeah, is it up to him at the end of the day? Like you, that's unfair to yourself. You're just no, yeah. Yeah. totally. You don't care about yourself. Yeah, exactly. You, you have, you you have not stay care about this too, bro. You this is your life You should have agency in your relationship just as much as this person does. And I think if you think that all the power is with your partner, then I think you need to reassess that that dynamic or maybe that 
the the relationship as a whole like i don't yeah. know yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's just Definitely. yeah i think it's just you need a lot more communication i think that's what the thing is. Mm -hmm. yeah. because it could even be just the way the new step is brought up like if i don't know like i'm a particular human where like mm -hmm. if you give me even good news mm -hmm. but in like a weird way i'll be like but what are you talking about though like, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean like i require like more this? information is it like yeah. that like you yeah. know so like i don't know like if even if you give me really good news of a new step that we want to take or whatever but yeah. if you say like a little negatively or a little i don't know like not gonna, happy yeah you're 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 careful that's it you yeah, know you're careful. So, i mean some yeah. people are maybe extra careful but that seems like some uh, people also move yeah. slow like it's fair to move slow True. relationships that's i okay. feel like that's escalating okay. things quickly yeah. like can also you know yeah harm a relationship mm -hmm. and it probably um, depends on how old they are too like if they're younger if they were in university and stuff like yeah. maybe you want to figure out your shit and kind of get outside of that and yeah. then yeah. work towards yeah. moving in together and stuff like it's really i feel like maybe yeah. maybe I more agree. communication i don't know yeah. if that wasn't a part of it but i just feel like if it leads to a crisis every time yeah i think yeah. there's yeah. something lacking in terms of how you communicate yeah, yeah maybe yeah, specifically ask like what are you waiting for and like what are the what is the scenario that you feel you will need to be the most comfortable in this just so you have like an mm -hmm. idea of a timeline and whether or not it matches yours yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah exactly and just make it clear what each other's expectations yeah, are just be like this yeah. is what i want not trying to push you right now because we've talked about it but i just want to know like what your expectations are here like yeah. what are your yeah. goals and like what is what, what do you want yeah, yeah right. definitely yeah. exactly oh so, yeah. yeah yeah lay the expectations on the table mm -hmm. yeah Oh, and right. then just ask, what oh, would it right. take to make you feel comfortable with like these expectations? Like, what is your timeline on like what I'm looking for? Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah. maybe you just don't work together. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's I just it. Yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah. That happens too. Sometimes love is not enough. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, they get a little nervous and they think, "Well, I'm three years in. This is gonna last a lifetime." <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. yeah, guys, no, no, uh, no. You can last ten years if it's time to break up. Yeah, it's time to break up. yeah you yeah, gotta I've know made it pretty happen. far in, and when something happens that makes you realize that it's just not going to work, like it's just, don't fall for sunk cost fallacy, which is just the idea that you put so much time and effort into something that it would be you. You feel like you've now wasted all that time. Yeah. Think yeah. of it more as you don't want to waste any more of your time. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Next one. Hey, friendly space ninja. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. In case you're going to have any girls with you on your video, well, you have two of them. Ooh. You got an Amanda and a Maya. <laughs> Jury's still out on Bruno. We'll get back to you. Uh, <laughs> um, in case you have any girls with you on your video, I'd like to know how to initiate sex as a girl with a guy. Can't like help. me and yeah, I can't help. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like me and this guy. It's all on you. It's all on you. We're gonna let you talk and just okay. wait. Uh, like me and this guy just started dating, and I want to give him hints that I'm ready to go third base, but like without saying it directly. If you know what I mean, how do I do that without it being awkward? What's third base? I feel like it's such an American. Oh. Thing. I think yeah, that I is sex. Is I think American. wouldn't home run be sex? Home, home yeah. run sex. Home run sex. Home run, right? But she's so saying like, initiating sex. Foreplay. She is. She is no, foreplay would be like first base. Yeah. No, first base no, is kissing. No, first base right? is kissing and second base is like touching the boobs. Base? Second base isn't like second base like with the I'm boobs Google or something. The bases. Okay, is third base like third fellatio? Base. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. fellatio. I guess like so. eating. Or so she wants to go down second? or get go down. Get going down. <laughs> get going down. Heading her. <laughs> heading her orally stimulating below the waist. Bring oh up my the banjo. god! I'm saying this on the internet. Stimulating. Okay, so orally stimulating. Okay, I have okay. a thing already. I, <laughs> I, have, a, I have one a thing condom. to say, and then I'll let you go. Okay. I think that um, it's it kind of goes back to what we were just talking about how how people just don't want to say things directly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the way that she that she phrased that, like um, going third base, telling him without telling him. Like you want to drop hints because you want him to get the hint and then say out loud what you wanted to say out loud so that he can make the first move because you don't want to make the first move. I think she's trying to be move. sexy. Like oh, she wants, yeah, to, yeah, she wants yeah. to do it in a way in that isn't too like abrupt, you know. She wants to yeah. be Fifty Shades about it. But it's tough because no, or else it, or else it ends up being like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's no. With that's, the elbow. Okay, no. so what you Don't do? do that. Don't you do trip that. into his groin. I'm joking. <laughs> consent is sexy, honestly. Yeah. And I, honestly, sexy. a guy would probably be feel really but hot. Communication I, is. Hot I do as think just being like, if you start the the thing and you're maybe you're reaching going yeah like wouldn't you just kind of keep progressing it i just yeah like you i guess kiss well, and then you say it's really young okay? this person is yeah, though yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no yeah, that's true that. too yeah yeah um i think just 
saying it like yeah. just saying it, well, that you, i swear to god yeah down for i that. swear there's nothing sexier than communication it sounds dumb especially said like that, but it's if really you were true. going to have sex because yeah, that you should is be able to talk an about important it. yeah prior step but even yeah. like in sex like just being able to say things explicitly yeah feels so say much better explicitly. than a feeling like you have to tiptoe you around what you actually way. want you can absolutely yeah. okay. there and is it's... nothing sexier than a girl coming to you and say hey I want to have sex. Yeah. Like, or yeah. hey, yeah. Oh, okay. I want to. I want to go this. down on you. You like, don't need to be like, hello. Like, oh do you mind performing right. fellatio on yeah. me right now? Like, yeah, I don't you can like. Yeah. You're too formal about it. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, sir. I would like to start a process. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and I feel yeah. like if you're in the heat of the moment, like maybe there's things you've already done. If you start yeah. kind of progressing yeah. there, and then yeah. you just say, "Are you okay going a little further?" Yeah, yeah. Ask. And then, and then you say like, you know, and he's like, "Oh, what?" And then you can just be like, "Yeah." I feel like in the heat of the moment, it would probably get really sexy you could just be like well, i yeah, want my mouth go, on you yeah, like and then exactly. you'd be like oh my goodness yeah, yeah. you know that's gonna make yeah i do good. think constant communication and sex is like actually really awesome yeah absolutely yeah. and just be, constantly beyond checking. consent like you just that it's honestly just good it and helps then make, with yeah. the flow of the, the act yeah. Flow of yeah. it, and then you making know? sure everybody's like having a good time yeah. and yeah checking like, in on each other always yeah exactly yeah. rather than somebody just being like should almost be done should almost be done like you know yeah exactly it might sound difficult at first but yeah come like straight communication mm -hmm. is always going to be the good thing and if needed yeah. we'll make you a spotify playlist oh she that's a joke we don't have the time <laughs> oh, for that <laughs> Sorry. Uh, whatever at the end of the day sex is for both people so it's yeah. sex is for both people just have yeah. fun do, yeah, exactly. do your thing you know all right next one Ooh, okay this one's heavy get Woo, ready I'm excited. get ready oh, I'm taking a sip all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> all right yeah. get ready hey friendly space ninja so here's my situation I'm a 27-year-old female, been in a relationship for six years. Two years ago, right before we went on lockdown, I cheated on my boyfriend in a moment of weakness. Told you we were on easy mode up to now. It was only once, and I never did it again. That said, I made the mistake of waiting two months before telling him. Oh, no. Thankfully, after some time apart, during which I repeatedly begged for forgiveness with my whole heart, he agreed to give me a second chance, and we got back together. Things have been going pretty well since then, but my boyfriend has, understandably, developed major trust issues that made him extremely jealous to a point that can make the relationship a bit toxic at times. Yeah. I feel guilty yeah. because he wasn't like that at all before that, and I feel like I have emotionally scarred him in a way he may never be able to get past. Uh. I know I made a terrible mistake, and I know I probably didn't deserve his forgiveness, but he is the love of my life, I love him with everything I've got, oh. and I would do anything to preserve this relationship. So I guess my question is, what do you think I can do to earn his full trust back? That's a really tough question. I don't, I don't, I just think that's something that time heals. Yeah, yeah that's really time. Yeah. Maybe couples therapy if you're like really in it. Yeah. Like, you, like, so like you'd have like a third party like weighing in. And, because, yeah. yeah, fundamentally like, building back trust in a relationship like you shouldn't you know you don't have to be crawling on all fours like getting like you know trying to earn something back like i don't think there's yeah. any one act you can do yeah no that's to it, yeah. repair someone's trust it's not that like yeah. simple i don't think no. it's it's too hard it's because really, it's not really something you can control you yeah, can't you can't yeah. only upside to the jealousy it means that like he does still care because like i had a situation yeah. like that happen and then got back together with them and then didn't care anymore and that should have been the indication that i should have just left but, like, <laughs> slipped away um i was yeah. Just, yeah my brain was just kind of like whatever if they're gonna do it they're gonna do it um mm -hmm. so um it's so hard it really is like a time thing she does and, say that it's been two years well, it was been before, before the, the first lockdown of the pandemic so, like, it just takes just, time like takes i don't time. know there's no there's, there's no timeline yeah um, it also has to do with the guy that's yeah, what, it depends that's on the what person. i mean on you him know, it's capability yeah, yeah exactly yeah and like, if you unlock some insecurities and stuff it. like that then he he ha it's he's new at dealing with it yeah that can be really hard as long as yeah. you keep going with what you're doing and like being just trying to be like a you know more trustworthy partner like respectful yeah. partner like yeah. i just think the more you keep going with that and proving that you'll you'll prove yourself over time right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. just I'd, I'd say like try your hardest to just uh keep a healthy environment in a relationship and just give it time yeah, yeah. i think that's the, the easiest yeah. way and to if it is getting to the point where it feels toxic as in like you feel like he's getting like overly controlling in situations where he should be like there is just actually a chance that it's not going to work out yeah, yeah. well true. yeah exactly that's also that's, that. sometimes yeah. cheating does just irreparably yeah. Harm. It's, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it is. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
But there, there are relationships that do sustain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. That does yeah, happen. It yeah, yeah, it can yeah. work. Yeah, it, it can, it can work. work. It's just be yeah. mindful of yourself, too, that if it's like, it makes sense that he's reacting the way he is. But if it is yeah. getting to the point where it is just like unreasonably unhealthy for you, too, now, yeah. like you yeah. might just have to cut your losses as like a. Yeah, if you Side love someone, set them free. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Because uh, if but you like love therapy, you. like if you guys can do the couples therapy thing and you're really serious about it, like that can only help. That That'll can help. that can yeah. work. Couples therapy for that type of stuff, yeah, I think, exactly. would be cool mm-hmm. because it's always it's so hard to deal with something like that. Just the two of you, it's better to have like a third opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think that can help just balance things out a little bit. Therapy again. Therapy again. The <laughs> we don't know. Sometimes no, that just do be the way. Yeah. Goddamn. All right. Um. Let me see. What do we got here? <laughs> Is getting back together with your ex ever a good idea? In my no. experience, not no. in my experience. No. In my experience, it has been bad no, idea. Okay. I'm a fir- <laughs> <laughs> good for you if you're able to make it work. But no, like, no. I'm of the believing that like once no, it, once it's, it's done, never it's a done. Good call. If really? you've gone that far, because usually it's... what's what's gonna end I've up happening. I've had it happen twice, and it's been bad both times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's yeah. gonna end up happening is the problems that made it end the first time. They just happen again. They just come they back, and, and they then... never. It's never like. They happen again, it's and then whatever worse. caused the breakup is now there too. Yeah, yeah and it's gonna, exactly. it's just gonna be worse. I think it can work. Sometimes people are just in different places, so like sometimes it's your, it's space that'll break you up, or it's circumstances or opportunities mm-hmm. yeah. that'll break you up. But right. then like you yeah. end up in a place where you're back together, and you've just kind of matured and grown as people, and that can absolutely work. Yeah, the totally. circumstances yeah. of the like breakup. Or, yeah, right. yeah, those can right. change. Yeah, but yeah, if totally. it's like you break up, and then things haven't really changed, and you're just like want to give it another go, then it's just almost a recipe for disaster. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> almost all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, basically, yeah. if the reason why you broke up wasn't anything like big or like really traumatic, I think it can work. But yeah. I think yeah, if, if it wasn't rooted in like you two being together, then I yeah, think it's okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes if it was like external just, factors. That's yeah, it. yeah, like life just happens factor, sometimes. You know, you yeah. have no control over it. It's yeah. possible. You yeah. know, it happens. Yeah. But, you know, try therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, like the girl next door moves away at That's like an, you know, at an like early age and then yeah. you find her again 20 years later or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are those, those <laughs> romantic yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well. Something yeah. like that. Where like school brings you in different places, job opportunities. Like yeah. there's ways yeah. it can yeah. work. I just True. think that Usually when people are asking that kind of question, the answer is probably no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No if you have to ask, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, oh, this I'll one's try. gonna be mm-hmm. quick. Should I tell my girlfriend that I don't like her anymore? Yes. Yes, yeah. you Come should. On. Don't wait. No, don't it. say I don't, don't like you just anymore. Say, just say this isn't working yeah, out. Yeah, just say this isn't working out. Don't need to hurt her feelings. Yeah, yeah, don't need to hurt her feelings. Honey, Come listen, on. I really want to talk to you about something uh. I've been meaning to say for a long time. You suck. You <laughs> suck? <laughs> no, that was a relatively you, demonic question. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. no, just... No, <laughs> what well, you yeah, need to do is there. end the relationship. But no, I, kind, I kind of respect yeah. the, the <laughs> <laughs> willingness <laughs> to ask that. Yeah, I know. Like He's like, realistically, though, what should I do? <laughs> but for real, like, what's homie, the what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah. Like, do you think you're just gonna wake up and be like, wow, you don't annoy me anymore? <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah. So well, you know, some people do that. They're in a yeah. relationship where like the feelings are clearly dead, but like they want to tough it up because they think it's just maybe yeah. it's a it's just a weird phase and yeah. stuff. Because I guess it's normal in a relationship. Sometimes attraction goes like up and down. It's just normal. Push and pull moments of people are going through things but specifically if i don't do like my like girlfriend them, no that's yeah. different do not yeah. date them then. that's not my girlfriend's annoying me right now that's i don't like my girlfriend yeah. i don't yeah, like her it. oh poor girl it sounds sucks. like his, his mind's already made up yeah, yeah exactly like, yeah no but the answer is don't tell her you don't like her just yeah. say i don't think this is <laughs> working. i'm kind of hoping yeah. this person's like young Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. yeah exactly. My dude, if you're saying this question, just be single. You're gonna That's like yeah. it much more. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. imagine like he's so bold about how he asked it. Like he just says it at dinner, no context. They're just eating, like talking about <laughs> I don't like you and he just goes, I don't, I don't really like you. Like you. <laughs> oh <laughs> we should end this. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh, that yeah, was not advice. That. that was not don't advice. That. Yeah. That was All right. funny. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get into hard mode. Okay. Ready? Damn, that wasn't hard? No, that was me. There's that one was that's me- really that good medium. that I'm waiting for. Yeah, yes. yeah, oh yeah. You know, yeah. The tease was real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is this is Dark Souls territory. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. <laughs> I'm right. waiting for that. Let's go. I assume, not All right, ready? Yes. <laughs> I hope I'm not too late for the dating advice thing. This is more of a marriage advice than dating advice. Let's go. Uh, oh, we are all snap. something. We are all experts in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I got a diploma and shit. <laughs> I'm 31 years old, female, and I've been married to my wonderful husband, 32-year-old male, since 2019. Yeah. 
But there is something I need to address because it has been messing with my head since the day we got married. Oh. Mm. This is going to sound bad, and believe me, I'm taking a huge piece of humble pie to admit all of this, but please bear with me. Oh. I sort of forced my husband to propose to me. We had been together for four years, and we had talked about wanting to get married for a very long time, but for some reason, he just would not propose. As time went by, I became more and more insistent about wanting to him to do so, and I eventually got extremely impatient. To make it short, I gave him an ultimatum. Either he proposed to me in the next few days, or I would leave him. A few days? I'm sorry. That's, yeah, a few days is brutal. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm going to go buy a ring like, on Give the drop a of a week. hat or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, I'll spare you the details, but he ended up proposing the following weekend, and we got married over that summer. We are now two and a half years later, and there are two things that bother me. The first is that I eventually had to admit to myself that I simply romanticized the idea of a wedding in my head. Mm, yeah, I had gone fair. to a number of my friends' weddings, had even gotten to be a bridesmaid for a couple of them. It's like a huge thing for women. It's a huge yeah, thing. I know. Yeah. And I wanted that for myself. It wasn't about love or even my husband. I think I just wanted my princess day with the perfect dress where everybody would be looking Ooh. at me and I would be the star of the night and blah, blah, blah. Ooh. The the classic basic bitch fever dream. <laughs> I love that That's funny. Like, basic uh, bitch fever dream? BBFD? BBFD. Hashtag BBFD. it. Classic. Hashtag it. Hashtag BBFD. It. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be my review of Emily in Paris season two. <laughs> 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 BBFD. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but the thing that bothers me the most is the post-wedding realization that I forced my husband's hand. And I've been growing more and more uncomfortable with that thought, especially since the start of the pandemic. Clearly, for reasons of his own, he was not ready to get married yet. But at no point in my process of getting a proposal did I ever take his feelings into consideration, hmm. which is totally unfair. I hate myself just saying it, but I wanted the wedding for me, not for us. I respect that self-awareness. I do too. Yeah, Because yeah, most girls power, never yeah. realize it. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are happy in our marriage. Things are as well as can be, but I now live with this pinching guilt that my husband didn't marry me because he was ready to, but because I put him in a situation where he thought he didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And that's a notion that makes me feel very sad. I wish I had given him more time to be ready for it because I know that's what I know that. Whoa, Jesus, because I know that's what he would have done for me. I have to rephrase a little bit here. Never in a million years would he ever have forced my hand into a marriage I was not ready for. He would have given me all the time I needed, and I'm growing increasingly angry with myself for not being able to do the same for him. Again, we're living a generally happy life together, but how do I get over this dreadful sense of guilt? I think this mm. one's easy, actually. You talk, really? talk to him. Just say, you know what? Yeah. I love you. I love our marriage together, but this is I realized something that I pushed you into something in a very unfair way i think yeah communication yeah. you know yeah. what i, I mean? think talking to him about it and yeah and expressing yeah. that you already underst but I understand that you've come yeah. to this realization I understand maybe yeah. that the shame makes sure that she yeah. doesn't want to talk but I, to him but i, I think, think she, sh yeah. she should and i think, I think and if should, he's yeah. happy in the marriage he'll like probably really appreciate that and maybe offer to do some kind of like redo in a way where she makes it romantic for him or something or like yeah, you know yeah. like oh, yeah. i think also just the admittance of it will help to him will, will help him yeah, yeah. yeah. and totally. also like realistically like okay yeah i think we are we are all kind of stuck in our like late 20s early 30s in this like we need to be hitting all these milestones or a yeah. lot of people have oh, that yeah, i think I pressure in di and, yeah yeah different types of milestones this is one of, that a lot of i think women have and like i understand that societal pressure but then yeah. Yeah, I think just, a, I don't know, did, did the, if the relationship is good after the marriage, like maybe it didn't affect him that much. Yeah, like maybe so, he yeah, actually yeah. 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 But if, it, I mean, if it's bothering you, I just think acknowledging it and saying yeah. that you're very thankful that he like put up with it, mm -hmm. but then yeah. just apologize for how it happened because you know he would have given you all the time in the world or yeah. Yeah. yeah and he you know and just to say talk about how much you appreciate that appreciate that in him and say just apologize that you couldn't be that for him but mm -hmm. you want to be better from now on yeah, yeah totally makes a lot of sense. you know what i mean so yeah. makes a lot of sense. and he yeah, might not right. even so be definitely. like it might not bother him or he might be like i really appreciate that yeah you're like a yeah. guru <laughs> <laughs> no i think you're right give yourself the time to just kind of accept you're very self-aware and mature about it which yeah. i think is already very good yeah and that's I, why you're feeling guilty is because, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. i think i think yeah just have a healthy conversation maybe like take the time to deal with the fact that like as you said you're growing angrier and angrier with yourself mm -hmm. 
maybe deal with that internally and then just yeah sit down with your husband wonderful husband mm -hmm. as you said yeah uh, and i'm yeah. sure yeah just have a healthy conversation that yeah. uh, yeah. will make yeah, it uh sure. it sounds sound like something she needs to work on with herself first I yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. 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 i understand why it's scary though because when you yeah, do something totally. you feel like you've been so selfish about something as big as a wedding mm -hmm. as well but I understand. I don't think you're the only one who has that feeling of like, I want that wedding for me because yeah. it's my day. No, I think. And I know point, some people who've been it's, malicious it's common, about yeah. it, like people who like would never regret that they did it, and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, I like, locked I got what them I down. I got what I wanted. Yeah. Got yeah. a kid on the way, and like then they they realize that they romanticize something, and then they get unhappy. And yeah, like, exactly. So you're being self aware is really good. Yeah, the um, self awareness I think is important, mm -hmm. and shows that you can clearly care about him. Yeah, like, absolutely. You just yeah. kind of got yeah. caught up in the. Yeah, in yeah. the, 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 the milestone. Ticking clock. Yeah, the ticking yeah. clock, which is I not get real. It. So. You became a yeah. bridesmaid and you were like, holy shit, <laughs> this could have been me. The cool <laughs> thing, too, is that if everything is completely okay with the wedding, the guy probably may not even realize yeah, that maybe, all maybe, of this yeah. is going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe he felt like, the pressure because an ultimatum is harsh as hell. Yeah. Harsh and, uh, oh, but, yeah. That, that, yeah, he could yeah. just see it as like, you know what? I was really planning on doing it eventually, and I guess this is just my get off the pot moment. I think that's what bothers her the most is that she didn't respect that he clearly was not ready at the time. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I mean. So I just think like a good conversation there, and I think it might like solidify you in ways, and you guys can have like a little romantic weekend or something just to like you yeah. know show that you really care and get married again I'm kidding. Yeah. well <laughs> renew, even you can renew you can do vows. you can renew the vows yeah. if you feel yeah. weird about it but like he might be completely fine so yeah. Yeah. prince edward county together yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah just have a good conversation over a glass of wine and uh yeah oh, yeah. yeah this is thing Make it classy yeah it's like the plot of before midnight yeah. but like happier yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> we got exactly. you we'll make you a spotify playlist as well yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. And then we're going to get to the one. The oh, one. The one. The one. Um, okay. How do you communicate to your partner that you don't agree with their career choice in the long run because it doesn't provide as much? I have so many thoughts already. Dude. For example, if I'm a dentist providing roughly $180,000 a year and my partner is a graduated actor who only get contracted jobs, does less than 50 k a year, like small commercials, commissions, etc. Is et this hypothetical examples or these are real examples? I think this is real. Uh, uh, it might be hypothetical. She said, for example. Hypothetical. Okay. Yeah. Very specific. Oh, I'm yeah. So I would Very guess something, she's in something medical and he's a musician would be Probably. my guess. Yeah, yeah he's Probably. a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guess. Oh, yeah. no. and, and he plays a dacha every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and based on that, how do you make financial choices together from there? Like buying a house, car, appliances, appl appliance, Appliances. Appliances, yeah. Appliances. That's what I said the first time. <laughs> Appliances, yeah, et cetera. Good. Note, not married yet. Okay, thoughts. Okay. Immediately, I'm going to jump in directly. For I'm sorry. For, um, for me, I'm one of those persons of the opinion that um, having trying to have control over your partner's career is a big no-no to me. Yeah, you got to either accept who they are as they are. You really have to um, because the second you get to that territory where it's like, uh, I'm not okay with your job because it doesn't fit me. Yeah, yeah so that's uh, that's, a, that's a problem. Yeah, as to long me. as they're like problem, working bro. and willing to, uh, like, there are At scenarios. Least they're, they're bringing something to the yeah, table. Yeah, there are yeah. scenarios yeah. where it's like, no, that's screwed up. Screwed yeah. up. They're taking advantage of you. But like, right. but there are some people well, who yeah, do not want to have a partner that makes less money than them. That truly bothers them. Yeah, but it's like if you make your yeah, partner switch their profession, like that, that they are will be growing yeah. resentment there yeah. unless True. they oh, like their yeah. new profession True. but if, yeah. if they are not in control of that and you are the one dictating it like yeah, yeah they the resentment will start to build yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Course, I, yeah i think if he's happy doing what he's doing i'm sorry but i don't think you should take that away from him if the no. love can persist it's like jack and rose yeah, yeah. 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 they loved each other no matter what their station in life was the yeah. Beatles, Look, all you need is love if you mm. care enough like I'm down with like, let's say, I know you're worth more than this. You yeah. know, like if I want to help mm -hmm. you to better your career, yeah, you know, I'll yeah, get you some different, gigs. Different yeah. You know, I'll help you out, whatever. Yeah. That's one thing if you care enough. Yeah. But like, you're not going to say like, dude, stop what you're doing. Yeah, especially and if that's get like a passion job. Shit. Yeah, which if, I assume if they it is love if it's, their job. Yeah, yeah, like I said, if when, using the acting example, if it's not an actor, I, I'm just going to assume something like musician where right, you might have yeah. gone to school for it and maybe yeah. you're in a band yeah. or maybe you do like random shows in mm -hmm. places. And like, those are jobs that are like, High risk, high reward. So, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. but then if that's their passion, um, yeah, they exactly. will resent also, you forever. I think we can relate yeah. to that because he's yeah. an actor. He's like really going after what was potentially like a huge yeah, dream. And you and never like, know when a big break could happen. And yeah. Like, Maybe he's in Dune Part 2. Like, like if you're yeah. looking at it based on social station and like, that and that's what you want in a partner then maybe you should reassess what kind yeah. of partner you're looking for exactly. like, yeah, if, if yeah, that's yeah. something you value that's like okay yeah. 
but maybe you shouldn't be with this person then yeah, because like you right. shouldn't change someone exactly no, exactly and yeah. if you are concerned with like living expenses and stuff like usually in situations like that you go by equity so it's like how much more money do you make compared to the other person and yeah. then you base your bills on that and if it is just kind of a situation where like the cost of living the, of the life that you want to live is just so greatly outside their stature yeah. and you just can't get past that like maybe you guys just don't work as a yeah, couple maybe you're not working. Yeah. Um, and that's okay too like it's okay if you want to live in like a nicer apartment or a condo or buy a house or something and they're not in a position where they can contribute to that but like yeah, relationships yeah. in this economy uh. like it's, yeah <laughs> it, it, it's a struggle it, there's so much more to it than just liking each yeah, other yeah it's yeah, really yeah. rough so yeah, yeah no I, I'm, yeah. I will just say the one thing that i won't advise is to um try to have too big of a say in your yeah. partner's uh, yeah. career yeah. That, yeah. that's a big no-no yeah. i don't think you should unless do that unless you feel, feel like it's like they're just working some like job that they hate and they're constantly complaining about it and yeah. there's something they are really good at like maybe push them to like pursue passions and try other things and just yeah. see if they can jump start something yeah. else while they're doing that but if they're happy doing what they're doing you got to decide if you're around for the ride or not yeah. yeah, if there was like upward mobility within their career and they mm -hmm. like that career, maybe that. But if there isn't and you're just, you want them to switch careers because you don't yeah. like that career. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's know. it. It has to be for their betterment. It has not to be for, for their betterment. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Betterment, you know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, totally. That's that. Yeah. Hopefully he's in June part two. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. we go We go to the, the big one. The big one. The big this one. is the big one. It's very long. The final so I don't care. I'm, Let's I'm go. I'm going to be reading for Let's a minute. Let's go. <laughs> I'm stoked. All right. This one is full of details. It's so juicy. Okay, it's probably going to take the rest of the episode. Okay. <laughs> hi, Dylan and friends. Say Hello. Hi. hi. Okay. My name is Victoria. I am 29 years old and I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend, let's call him Jack, for just over five years now. I need advice because I recently did something to him that completely shattered him emotionally and I regret it deeply. For context, I'm a nurse and Jack works as a bartender in a fancy hotel downtown. We both love our jobs and we love telling each other about our days when we come home. We have a very healthy relationship, which I'm very thankful for, and Jack is an incredible human. He's nice, generous, funny, and he's one of those people who are just full of joy. We truly live in our own little on our own little golden cloud, and I couldn't be happier. Wow. That's so cute. I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. Until... Can I count on that cloud? <laughs> now, here's what happened. About three weeks ago, we went on a triple date with two co-workers of mine who are both doctors and their spouses. We're all very good friends, and during the dinner, we started talking about future goals we'd like to achieve. One of my coworkers was talking about being in the process of buying a cottage in the woods for some downtime. And the wife of my other coworker was being all excited about the up their upcoming vacation in the Maldives. Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Maldives. Must be nice. Then be nice. somebody asked me what goals Jack and I had and were looking forward to achieving. And I don't know what came over me at that moment, but without thinking about it, I responded, well, nothing like that for me and Jack. He's just the bartender. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Bartenders so make rough. bank. If you're if you're in a fancy <laughs> hotel, you're making yeah. like out you, the you, ass money typically. I'm yes, sorry, that is a cocktail artist. You get what I said about the one sentence now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, oh like my words. god. It's not done. This keeps going. Oh. Keep going. All right, oh, cool. No. The second I finish speaking. I realized what I had just said, but Jack left it off to diffuse the awkwardness before I could add anything else. The next minute or two, there was an awkward atmosphere at the table. Everyone was carrying on with the conversation, pretending like nothing happened. Eventually, we changed the subject enough times and the dinner ended on a good note. Jack did not say a single word to me during the ride back home. I also did not utter a word because I didn't know how to address it. The truth is, I have no idea why I said that. I know a lot of women will give men more or less value as people depending on what job they have or how much money they make. That's a generalization, I feel. But, uh, but that's never been me. I never cared about Jack's job. And the last thing I would ever want is to break his self-esteem or to make him believe that I do not think highly of him no matter what job he has. Needless to say, the ride home were probably the longest 15 minutes of my entire life. I believe it. When we got home, I couldn't bite my tongue anymore because I felt horrible. I felt like I had demeaned him and I had made him feel embarrassed in front of our friends in a very degrading way. So I apologized for what I said. I tried to explain that I didn't mean it and that I loved him and valued him no matter what job he had. Mm. He asked me why I said what I said, but I couldn't give him a proper explanation. Admittedly, 
I was clumsy with my words because I was panicking and I couldn't express myself correctly. I was honest and explained that I didn't know why I said it, but that I didn't mean it. I'm not sure he believed me. He was hurt by the way I said it. Just a bartender. He said I phrased it like I was beneath all of, like he was beneath all of us. That was hard to hear because Jack is not someone who is driven by his ego. He genuinely felt degraded. I had made him feel like he was lesser than. He told me that he likes being a bartender, but that he's sorry he doesn't make as much money as my coworkers, and that he never realized that could have been an issue for me because we're doing okay financially. I'm paraphrasing most of it, but the argument was long and bad. There were tears and none of my words could make up for what I had already said. The worst part of it all, and the most gut-wrenching thing to me, is that Jack didn't even seem to be angry at me. He just looked sad and hurt. It's been three weeks now and things have more or less gone back to normal, with Jack at home, but something feels off. It's like there's a, this unspoken thing between us, like an invisible wall. He doesn't bring it up and he acts like everything is normal. He's still loving and caring, we still have good moments, but he's a bit more reserved. Not necessarily distant, but reserved. He also won't talk about work anymore. Before when I asked him, how was your day? He would tell me funny stories of the weird encounters he had with clients. But now he just says, it was fine and doesn't really elaborate. I don't know how to fix the situation, I can't take back what I said, and I don't know how I can possibly convince him that I didn't mean it. This is the first time our relationship takes such a turn, and I don't know what to do. I love my boyfriend more than anything in the world, he's the kindest, most caring person. He has been so good to me, and got me out of a very difficult time following my escape from a terribly abusive relationship years ago. He also supported me financially while I was finishing school. He's, li he's literally everything I could ever dream for in a partner, and it absolutely breaks my heart that I made him feel like he's not enough. How can I fix this? Oh, I Jesus. think that's outside our you pay grade. You dug yourself a grave. <laughs> when I told you I read this at 3 a.m. and I was like, fuck. Oh, it's just tough because like people do genuinely just speak out of turn sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like, obviously your words can hurt someone. I think there just needs to be a bit of compromise from both sides. Like, Yeah. Yeah, but I understand why it's so hard to take. Yeah. No, that yeah. is hard like, to, to take. That, that, that is incredibly sound? hurtful. Yeah. I mean, the guy like, isn't even mad. He's just, he's just down. Just sad. Yeah. He's just sad. It's, and he sounds like yeah. a great guy he sounds so like he sounds like yeah, he such sounds like a, a really nice, yeah. nice person and, oh man and My that is the worst part like some people just talk right out of their ass and but that, that's think about yeah, it's like i don't know so yeah i just like i'm sure i believe her that she didn't mean it yeah, so yeah. It's yeah. Tough yeah. To, like how do you kind of how do you kind of like uh, but i understand how in from his perspective it can be like you were thinking this this whole time and no, it just kind of totally, slipped yeah. out yeah. it's either therapy or you almost aggressively have to be like look i know it's just always yeah, therapy yeah. but it's like you almost have to be like we'll make a playlist on spotify i'm like you have to be like look I'm a dumb bitch. Yeah, I don't know yeah, why I said that. Yeah. I love you so much for supporting me through school because so many people wouldn't have done that. And I'm, oh, you yeah. know, we're, we're in such a better stuff. place yeah. because you were willing to do that. I miss hearing all the stories about the crazy people that you work with. I respect yeah. the fuck yeah, out of you. Like, you, you either have to, have to like, I just think you really need to be so honest and be like, these are all the reasons I love you. This is why I appreciate your job. This is yeah. why, like, yeah, this is why I really, really didn't write him a letter. You gotta go, yeah, if you can't, if you don't feel like you can say it, like, write him a letter, but like, you can, or even like read him the letter but like yeah. just go all in um so that he really understands and just say that it was a stupid thing that you yeah. said out of turn and yeah. it's like not something that bothers you and like just be completely transparent about all the yes. things you're feeling yeah. about it and like explore yeah. read him this like that this that was like honestly a love maybe don't no, say that you submitted it to a podcast just send him the link yeah. <laughs> read like like yeah. all the yeah. things yeah. that you expressed over yeah, this seriously. message like yeah. honestly it you is. expressed it in a way that we all empathize with you yeah, yeah. you really did a great exactly. job at explaining yeah. why he means so much yeah. to you yeah. and i think like and i'm sure that he doesn't doubt that like you love him i just think that it's maybe an ego the, blow yeah well yeah. because i can't i can't imagine that like it just, i think there's also the the the, the aspect of yeah, this was so in front hurtful. of friends yeah who yeah. i guess all make more money than him yeah which was and the, that the was never something yeah. that he bothered or considered before yeah exactly yeah. like she, he never thought that was a, a but thing. it's like yeah. bartending like genuinely well she's saying that they're doing financially okay so it might not even like yeah. be a financial thing yeah just like, like, it's it's not, social, like the social well it's just like not that many people not everyone can afford to go to the mall d yeah also the mall you're not buying a cottage in the woods yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah, no, Aww. it's it's rough. That's it's just really sad because everyone in the situation sounds like a really nice person. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, and he just seems just, like you know such a good like guy. A really she sounds like a nice person. He she like just nice said something person. fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. yeah, you just spoke out of your ass and you just oh, spread it. That's horrible. Uh, I feel, so sad. I read this story and I was like, damn, I almost feel bad about doing this episode now. <laughs> this is so deep. Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, people, wow, are really reaching out to you. Like this is so interesting to see. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting people to get so deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some made me laugh. The guy was like, should, should I tell my girlfriend that I don't like her? Like that. To <laughs> me, that's just one. funny. I love that one. Yeah. It's just funny. But like, uh, I w- I'm I'm very like surprised at how some people like, like we're for sure going to do this again. Oh, yeah. Yes. For sure. What if we made that like a, a tradition? Like a- every it. season yeah. we do like a two hour special. That's just dating advice. Oh, I would like multiple, so... e- like multiple episodes. A season? <laughs> you know? yeah. Do we just make this shit. entire podcast dating advice? <laughs> Like and then one episode honestly, we talk so about fun. movies yeah, I love dating <laughs> advice like relationship advice just any kind of like life advice yeah, yeah like yeah. let yeah. me tell you how to be better so I don't have to <laughs> so I can just bury yeah. myself in work and not yeah, think about exactly. it yeah exactly my friend's whole group chat is just this basically oh really <laughs> I love it. Advice. Advice. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. so good I don't do well in group chats really yeah we have a pretty small group chat like it's like five of us oh okay that's fine yeah. really that's fine that's doable I think people were like, hey, there's 17 of us. Come talk to us. No, 17. I'm busy. I got things to do. Yeah. I can, I'm, I'm already getting anxious because of the phone just ringing constantly. Yeah, ding, dude, ding, that's ding, the worst. Yeah, you have to mute it yeah. at You have to turn off the notification. Off. Yeah. The GC pops off. But yeah, that's that story was heavy. That, Honestly, yeah, yeah, I just think like like Amanda said, just go all in, just do like yeah, just yeah. Like, I don't know, take him take him out somewhere, naked, yeah, like no, really go. I don't know. All it in. depends. Like take him, take well, take him somewhere. Just do something. I like, like the make a writing crazy a letter. Idea. Yeah, that writing is something a, letter, a therapist would recommend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. writing yeah. letters yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It, it, it letter. helps you express your emotions in a co- coherent and structured way. Yeah, yeah. and then or either read it to him, make it like the conclusion of a movie. Where you're like, I fucking love you. Like, just go when Harry on. Met Sally vibes. To rain outside. When Harry met Sally, when he's trying to win her back, and he's yeah. like, I oh, love yeah, the yeah, little yeah. thing you do with your yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. 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 Like, you order everything off the menu. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so cute. I need to rewatch that movie. It's I been a minute. It recently. It's so good. It's uh, been a minute. My boy Billy Crystal. Billy yeah. Crystal. God damn. <laughs> Hard, huh? That story. Yeah, that was like gut wrenching. Like, I feel like I got punched in the stomach with that. Straight. I know, pain, especially man. when it get, like, especially when she was all like, "He financially helped me." I was like, "Oh, yeah, like, damn, no, like, you did not. You did not." That's just like the worst thing yeah. ever. They they oh, sound God. like better people than I am, so it's like, how am I gonna give <laughs> you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how to give you advice. Like, yeah. there you, really is this element of like, oh, this is just so gut wrenching. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think I have another long one. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, this one is long too. I don't remember it though, so I'm gonna rediscover it with you. Cool. All Those right. Ones. Hello, Dylan, and whoever is going to be in this. I thought I would chime in on the date on a date on well, oh, Jesus, on that relationship advice thing, as I would love to have your thoughts on something I'm currently trying to sort out. I'm a 25 year old female, and my boyfriend and I have been together for three years now. Not too long ago, I started to realize that our sex life kind of died in recent months. We used to be really active sexually, and I really enjoyed it, but progressively... (laughs) (laughs) But progressively, things started to go down. It seemed like my boyfriend wasn't really paying attention to me that way anymore. He stopped making the move... The move, TM. (laughs) He stopped making the move... (laughs) Copyright. Yeah, exactly. He stopped telling me how sexy I am. Anyways, things just changed. I asked him... I asked him about it the other night, and he explained to me that the last few times he tried to have sex with me, I turned him down. When I heard that, I got a little irritated, and I explained to him that the moment just wasn't right, but that it doesn't mean that I don't want to have sex at all. But here's where the shift happened. His reply hit me like a ton of bricks. He just shrugged and said, well, you never let me know when the moment is right, and I'm tired of being the only one trying. Mm -hmm. So how about next Mm -hmm. time you want to have sex, you come to me for a change? Yeah. It yeah. wasn't pleasant yeah. to hear, but he was right. Basically, I took a step back and I realized that in our three years together, I never really did anything to make my boyfriend feel desired. I never put... The self-awareness you guys have is blowing my mind. Yeah. It's crazy. I think she's yeah. answering her own question. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's, exactly. that's such a gender thing that yeah. like, girls oh, yeah. don't always yeah. feel like they can... Uh, she does They're say. the ones yeah. to initiate. Yeah, 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 exactly. I never put any effort to show him that I want him. I don't really give him compliments. I hardly ever initiate sex. Even if I'm in the mood, I'll just wait for him to initiate. Yeah. Anyways, long story short, 
I came to the realization that I put no effort in several aspects of the relationship because I have internalized this weird notion that it is the man who should validate me. Yeah. The man should make the first yeah. move. The man should compliment my looks. The man should pursue me. And I never stopped to think that the result of me not reciprocating these things is that my boyfriend feels undesired in our relationship. Yeah. And it made his sex drive <laughs> dissipate. He always tells me how beautiful I am. He initiates sex. He takes me out on dates. He compliments my outfits. He's affectionate. He puts a lot of effort in reminding me regularly that I am desired. And I think that's a validation I have been taking for granted. I would like to start taking steps to make my boyfriend feel more wanted because I do want him. What are things that I can do to achieve that without, without it coming across as cringe or forced? He is so not used to me expressing my attraction to him that I'm afraid to weird him out. Please help. I feel like that's so easy. I don't think he's you're gonna weird just, him out because he's literally put it out there he, that like yeah, yeah just casual him. compliments were like. But the feeling come, forced come about though, organically yeah. though, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Maybe like when, you know, if he's wearing a shirt you like, say that's a really nice shirt. You look really good. You look yeah. good today. Yeah, you know. Or and then if you if you're <laughs> feeling like you want to have sex, like yeah, just like show up with lingerie just be like, or something. Ask her like do something. You know, yeah, yeah just you know, do the you know, like you know, rub the shoulder. Yeah, if he's gaming, kiss on the cheek. Oh, I thought you meant like this. <laughs> yeah, <just> <laughs> yeah, no, like, like you want you some know. of these, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> if he goes yeah. in the shower, just go with him. Like, yeah, surprise him in the shower. Just I can understand why stuff like that Unless might be a little shower nervous. alone. <laughs> yeah, then like, don't do that. Yeah, I just I can understand why stuff like that might be a little bit nerve wracking because it becomes high risk, high reward if you show up naked and he's like for whatever reason not in the mood that particular he's day. Like, then you're yeah, naked and you have to put your clothing yeah. back on. But I do think you can like yeah, there's small ways to kind of initiate initiate sex, and then maybe the compliments will come more naturally. Yeah, absolutely. For real, for sure, for sure. Like you don't have to be like you look so nice today. Yeah, yeah, no, be chill. About it. I think it's yeah. hard when you're just not used to doing it. When you're always expected from the other person, yeah, yeah. taking that step yeah. must be a bit nerve wracking. I guess. Well, that ends up being like a huge issue in relationships that are like only with women, so that it's like who, yeah, <laughs> yeah, who becomes the man. Yeah. Like no one's the man. Yeah. That's the point. The but, yeah, that question. has to suck, huh? Yeah. That has to really suck. Can, yeah. But I understand where like, yeah, when you get turned down several times, and yeah. it's like, but also yeah. you won't come to me. So like, yeah. how am I supposed? I can't read I, your mind. Yeah, I yeah. can't <laughs> figure out just when you're in the mood and just uh, that's really difficult yeah yeah but no, it's uh, a real world thing bro it happens to a lot of people. yeah no yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a huge thing yeah, yeah. like i said yeah. every relationship has ups and downs when it comes yeah. to attraction that's just normal yeah. people don't talk about that enough mm -hmm. because people want their relationship to be a movie <laughs> um, there's there's so much caretaking that goes into it, that yeah, goes into sex really and relationships true. honestly yeah like, and i yeah. think me personally i'm the type of person that like i am so like cards on the table open like whenever i i'm in a relationship it's like yeah. Nothing's off the table. You can tell me anything about sex related. Mm. It's so important yeah. to have a healthy communication about sex because that affects so many other parts of your relationship. Mm. Um, and I think that's just something that people need to work on a lot. Sure. And again, not just uh, saying things without saying them for the other people to get the hint and then to maybe yeah. mm -hmm. cross yeah. ways in the matrix and figure out if maybe like that's just not going <laughs> to help anybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, through the labyrinth. It's tough it though because sometimes like things happen subconsciously that you don't realize till after. Like yeah. Yeah. you can go huge yeah. periods yeah. being like, I don't like not really understanding why you've like lost a sex drive or like why. And then mm -hmm. there's so many you'll factors. You'll realize after a while and like as long as you kind of realize it together, you communicate when you realize. I think that yeah. that's yeah. really helpful. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Sometimes, sometimes it can be like, a, in, in my last relationship, uh, that was a huge issue in it. It was a just massive lack of communication about sex where mm -hmm. my, my, my girlfriend just was not able to to just talk about sex at all. That was a huge block for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you try to give it a lot of time, as in two years, and things just don't seem to evolve, that creates a lot of problems in other aspects of the relationship because then I can't even communicate where I'm at with sex. Was if if she wanted to have sex and uh, I just wasn't in the mood uh, because usually it's because my head is just overstuffed with work yeah. and I'm just not quite there, you know. But then she she will think you know because I think a lot of women are thought that just men are pigs and they just want to fuck want all sex. the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, and and true. so whenever you're just not in the mood, the first effect is gonna be like, oh, then something is wrong with me. I'm not yeah. hot enough. I'm not. But if you are able to communicate that, because that's the last thing that I would have wanted her to think. Yeah. Right. And uh, I, I just wish sometimes a lot that she would come to me and explain that to me, because sometimes it would end up in tears. She would end up in tears and not be able to communicate why, because she just couldn't talk about sex. And just yeah. I think, you know, make sure that you're safe, that everything is okay for the both of you. Mm -hmm. Consent, I'm not, you know, consent is everything. Yeah. Uh, but 
sex is fun and you can have laid back conversations about it just do the work to establish a healthy communication communication and i think that's going to help with you just being able to show your attraction in in ways that where you don't feel like you have to be splinter cell about it and try to be intuitive with how you're feeling in the Mm -hmm. moment if that makes sense like it's it's hard to do that but try to just kind of yeah into it like what's what's happening with you yeah Yeah. sex related i I, I think it's like because you always have to learn like the like to call it the sexual language of your partner yeah when you can kind of read the signs by their body language or whatever Mm. yeah Uh, i don't know how that works if you're not somebody who makes a move uh, so I yeah. feel like it's like a yeah. part of your boyfriend you need to get to know now. This also just yeah. goes back to unlearning gender roles. Like it's it's tough yeah. to unlearn yeah. that kind exactly. of thing. Yeah. But it yeah. but I think it. Needs I think to that's be done. hard for a lot of people to let go of that. It's hard. It's yeah. like years of centuries of especially like, especially yeah. you know, aspects for women. Up. Just like that idea that like yes, yeah, some the person you should be the one to be validated all the time. That's yeah. difficult as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. super hard. And uh, we'll make you a Spotify playlist as well. Yeah. Everyone. everyone too. Everyone gets one. <laughs> lots, of, <laughs> lots of Marvin Gaye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you just really need to remember that it's you two. You're you're to get you're there for each other. It's your sex mm. life. Yeah, it's both your you. it's both your sex lives, you yeah. know, and you wanna put just as much effort into it mm. as yeah. you want the other person to put. So it's like I mean, I don't know, like it, in terms of me, like I know, like I care a lot. So my girlfriend feels that I care a lot and the same the other way. Yeah, you, know? you signal it, things. That's yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and I, th- I feel like in terms of sex, I mean, it's, you know, you could joke around about it. You know, it's it could be it could be nothing just as much as it could be everything. But it's a, like a fundamental part of any relationship. It is. It really and, is. And that's... if you can't get that right, as like stupid as it sounds, it will break down other parts of your relationship. Oh, yes. 100 percent. Absolutely. Sex is like a very it's important. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. If you two have sex, like if that's a. Yeah. I'm know. coming out of a relationship where there was just like no intimacy for a very same. long time. Yeah. So same. just. Yeah. Um, same. It's just like don't you, let it you feel how dwindle. it kind of punches down on the rest <laughs> yeah. of the relationship. Yeah, don't let it dwindle and figure out like what are the reasons why. Yeah, um, because sometimes is, it can be bigger than what you think. Yeah, yeah, and this one it literally just seems like you you need to kind of like unlearn just like situations where you feel like it's his job to come to you. And then yeah. I, inter- it's completely logical that if he felt like he got turned down two times, that he'd be like, well, what the fuck? Well, it's yeah. an ego like, blow, yeah. It's an ego you're blow. You're putting yourself out there when you're trying to have, you know, when you're Yeah, well, it's the exact yeah, same exactly. thing that you're, yeah. like, yeah. you as you're scared of with him is what he's now concerned of with you because it happened twice. Yeah, so, you yeah. have the same fear. And but it's like, fine, you don't <laughs> have to be, and that's great because no you don't need to want to have exactly. sex every time. That's totally, yeah. it was totally okay that you just weren't in the mood for it. But like, yeah. again, yeah, I think he's right. When you are in the mood, just initiate it. And, yeah. Yeah. Just do something. You know, and just understand that if there's a time that he's also not down, like don't, you know, he wants to be in a relationship with you. So like, you know, you, yeah. you're having the conversation. Mm-hmm. So And yeah. also really just remember, we've said it already, I'm repeating myself, but like you're, your sex life is not just a box that exists in a relationship. It's a literal pillar of what makes your relationship stand. I think yeah. you should really make sure that um, you have a healthy sex life. And not necessarily, And by healthy, I don't mean like have sex three times a day. That's not necessarily what it <laughs> means. <laughs> no, um, it's to be healthy like a horse, bro. Oh, I'm so healthy, bro. <laughs> I'm so healthy, bro. <laughs> I'm at it seven Protein. times a day, dude. Yeah, yeah. steroid sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I drink a Red Bull, it's eight. But um, no, really just make sure that you you really establish a healthy communication and just yeah. a healthy sex life because uh, that's going to affect your relationship. That's going to to affect your mood mm-hmm. on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. And that's very true. When like, you have like an active sex life that is healthy and when you're happy with it and you don't have doubts, it really affects like, can it affect your life at work? It yeah. Affect, like, yeah. It's really a yeah. huge, 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 huge portion of your relationship. So give yourself time no rush uh, if if things are okay and it wasn't like the biggest drama of the world but you just want to take a step that's a good thing but um yeah give yourself time communication is everything yeah 100% that's and perfect. therapy yeah. and therapy <laughs> But if you can't afford that, then communicate. This one actually seems like one you can probably handle without therapy. Like, you know yeah, what's you up. Can, you can do this one. Yeah. You yeah. can do this one. You guys got this. You just got to, I get it. It's scary, but you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. yeah He'll probably exactly. think it's really hot too, so. Tr- t- yeah. 100%. Yeah, it might yeah. be a little bit weird 100%. this first time because you guys, it obviously went to a point where you had to be like, well, you know? Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. You know, you but like be after real that, honest about it. Yeah, just yeah. how you're yeah. feeling. I think she's afraid that like, like she says, like she, he's so not used to her expressing her attraction. Mm. Like, I think she's afraid that like he's, it's just going to be awkward. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah, he's going to feel that like, oh, because I said that it's just forced. It feels forced. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Again, this is another one where like literally she can just read that 
to him and everything would Honestly, be Honestly, we'll just send you the link yeah. to the it's podcast, like just... send it to your partners and go on a vacation for two weeks. Seriously. Be like, someone submitted this. I don't know who, but like... <laughs> but it's like, they're talking about us. Yeah, it's like, the other like so similar. <laughs> the other one literally says her name is Victoria. She's like, coincidence, same age, same name. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was good. I think yeah. we were, we're, we're doing a good job. I think yeah. we're giving oh, yeah. great advice. I, th- I think so. <laughs> I don't think we're ruining anyone's day. Oh, okay. 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 Well, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna end with this. Just got a word from the producer. We've been going for an hour and a half. That's great. I could Hello. do this all day. Okay. It's hard, huh? <laughs> My yeah. first subreddit was r slash relationships before r slash relationships advice. Eighty percent fake stories, but still fun. Because I was all up in this. I was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll end on a quick one. All right, cool. Okay. How does so, one get over their first love? Asking oh. for a friend. Straight up, just fucking other bitches. Like I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was gonna say that too as a joke. <laughs> as someone doing it right now, it's not oh, easy. It's, it's time. Easy. Oh no, it's first, your love? first love. Well, yeah, I think just serious love. Oh, okay. I, I'm yeah. sure I had high school loves. But That's yeah, my this, high school. This one was like a the very serious. We're gonna go get fucked up after this episode. I think it's time. It's time. I'm not romanticizing things. Like realizing that there's reasons why there. There are reasons ends. you broke up. Even yeah. if it wasn't from you, even if you yeah. weren't the one who initiated it, just mm-hmm. know that there are reasons that the relationship wasn't going to work. Yeah. Uh, and don't romanticize the good times because that happens even if you are the one who initiates the breakup sometimes. Oh, yeah, definitely. 100%. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So just like keep in mind the reasons like why it wasn't going to work. Um, if anything, amp up the bad stuff. Like it doesn't yeah. matter how yeah. like ridiculous you might oh be God, being. So many people have been telling me that. It's crazy. That's like the <laughs> amp it up. <laughs> amp it up because it'll help. Even yeah. if it's ridiculous, like don't, don't go at don't them. Don't dwindle in the like. Oh, like, like, yeah, don't yeah, be like, yeah, oh yeah. my god, what's happening? The like, pining, who, who, I think, it, it's yeah, so hard, it's hard not to pine, but like, it's oh, it's tough. Oh, because the second you, oh. that person misses you a tiny bit, you just go into memory mode and yeah. you start looking back at things that like oh, made you feel good, and it's the fucking yeah, I was into my yeah. first love when I like from when I was like 14 for like seven years. Like, I would date in between and oh, stuff, yeah. but it was just like, if she would say something to me or she was back in town, I'm like, hey, you want to hang out? Yeah. Aww. Well, I think it's fair to say that even <laughs> even I'm when you now. do get over your first love, <laughs> um, even when you do get over your first love, I think there's this element that, like, I think they're always going to have, like, a special place in your brain, not necessarily mm-hmm. romantically oh, yeah. because you can be over them. Yeah. But right. it's just, there's something just always going to be there. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, the brain, special yeah, place yeah. in my yeah, brain. Yeah, it's the just that they're always going to be You belong in my frontal cortex, babe. Yeah. On that left side. Because you're going to do, especially if you're like younger because like there's so many hormones flying oh, yeah, around absolutely. that are going to yeah. that absolutely. shit mm-hmm. um, absolutely yeah. yeah I think for, first loves are tricky but I think give yourself time I yeah. think that's the thing you're, you're right time, time. Kills all and wounds. it's not going to be linear like no. progress is not linear oh, no, you'll have days where you're up. sad yeah. where you're mad where you're yeah. like despondent where yeah. you're yeah. accepting yeah, where, yeah so I had like a really just... bad breakup in 2016 uh, with well I was there I was there with you in 2016 yeah you was there yeah, that's, oh yeah that's when we met yeah. I, I was with you when that relationship was going to shit yeah, I, I was with you I mean I met well, you we, we, were <laughs> yeah. together. we were together kind of <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah no I, I just I had this this breakup it took me two years to get over it and there was really a point like a year in where i was like i don't think i don't think that i can do that like i don't think that i'll ever get over her but time is always by the time you finally over that person you're probably not even going to notice because it's just best yeah yeah that's yeah. that Agreed. It'll happen organically. Well, just like integrate yourself, meet new people, go do things, hang yeah. out. Busy. Yeah. Honestly, keep been... busy. Yeah, yeah keep, keep busy. busy. Oh my god, I binge like I've had like two really really big breakups, and like one of them, it was just like binging movies. That's probably why I yeah. do what I do right now. Yeah. I've been watching yeah. so many rom coms. Yeah, I just that watch... doesn't help though. Still, no, they've been helping it's, me. I'm no, like, it can't help. You just it's like he, he's weird. He doesn't get certain comfort movies. It's you just binge watch stuff. <laughs> you just like find television shows that you've always wanted to watch and you never got around yeah. to. Like just yeah. things that occupy that space in your brain is yeah. super helpful. Yeah. Super helpful. There we go, guys. That was the dating advice episode of the mothership. <laughs> yeah. We're doing this again, one hundred percent. I almost want to do in one again this season. Amazing question. Almost. Though. Yeah, you got you guys. Thank you for being so vulnerable. Yeah, that's truly. like so nice. Thank you so much. You guys are very generous. Like, honestly, with us. the so best sweet. audience ever. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like really. Now good I really want to do like, this. Damn. Play like, like I'm gonna stop oh, that joke. You guys are impressive. <laughs> yeah, you guys good. are. You guys are amazing. Thank very you bad. so much for watching the mothership. 
That was such a nice thing to do. We're going to do this again I for sure. It. I'm going to so put good. another tag. We'll the talk lighting, more. The lighting, the mood lighting really The mood helps. lighting helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring the show. As always, you guys are the real ones. This was The Mothership. I am the friendly space ninja. I am Commander Bruno. I am Maya of Broy de Chanel fame. <laughs> fame. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Amanda of Amanda the Jedi. <laughs> Amanda of Star Wars fame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, uh, you've heard of me. <laughs> yeah, you really All our links are going to be in the description of the episodes on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, or on YouTube if you're watching this. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. But get the therapist, though. Some of <laughs> if you, you can I'm, afford it. If you can afford, if it. You can afford it, some of you. Yeah. Not because I'm mean, but because I care. <laughs>